Hello and welcome back to Arduino Programming and Interfacing. In this tutorial, you will learn about this PIR sensor that is passive infrared sensor and electromagnetic relay. And with the help of these two device, we are going to control 230 volt AC bulb. So this is a passive infrared sensor. With the help of this sensor, you can detect the human or animal movement and it has a three pin the first pin is for the voltage second is for the output and the third is for the ground so whenever any human is present in front of this pir sensor so its output will goes high and it will be given to the pin number four of the arduino and to adjust the sensitivity and delay we have these two variables so this one is for the delay and this one is for the distance now I have this 12 volt relay. This relay has basically a 5 terminal. As you can see here, the two terminal are useful for the supply that is A and B and another three terminal are the common and normally open and normally close. So these are the five terminal of the relay and this middle terminal, this one is a common terminal. These two are A and B that is mentioned in the figure. So here we will provide our supply and these two terminal are normally open and normally close. Now to identify which one is normally open and normally close, you need a digital multimeter and you need to check the continuity between the common terminal and this terminal which can be a normally open or close. Similarly, this common and this another terminal. So let's check it. So first of all, just turn on the digital multimeter then set it to this connectivity point and turn on this sound in your multimeter now take this relay and you can connect one terminal of multimeter to this common point and another one to this n or nc so you can see that there is no short circuit between these two terminal that means it is a normally open terminal and if i will connect the multimeter over here you can see that there is a short circuit so this is a normally closed terminal of the relay so this is how you can identify normally open or normally closed terminal of the relay another equipment that i have used in this tutorial is a 230 volt bulb and you can see that i have connected this plug to this 230 volt bulb and you can take one wire out of this and make sure that you will separate it so uh, we can connect these two terminal to the relay. I will show you how to interface these terminals to the relay. So here we have the interfacing diagram. Here we have our PIR sensor. The output of PIR sensor is connected to the pin number 4 of the Arduino, which is just behave as an input to the Arduino. And then we will process something over here. Let's say if input to this Arduino from PIR sensor is high, then we want to make bulb to be turned on for the 5 second. So we will program according to that and finally we will provide output from this pin number 8 to the transistor. So this is a NPN transistor and at the collector of this transistor we are going to use this protecting diode so it will protect from the reverse current flowing in the circuit and here we have the relay. So the supply is going to be connected with the plus VCC. You can use this plus VCC as per the voltage of the relay. So I am going to use a 12 volt relay. So for that we required a plus VCC as a 12 volt. And the common terminal and normally open terminal is going to be connected with the lamp. So let's start with the interfacing. So first of all, I have connected this ground to the upper line of this breadboard and the plus 5 volt to the lower line of this breadboard. Then let's connect this PIR sensor. So this red wire is for the supply. So I am going to connect with the supply. This third pin is for the ground. So let's connect to the ground. And finally, this blue wire is for the output as per our interfacing we will connect to the pin number 4 of the arduino 
then i am going to take output from arduino that is pin number 8 and let's take it to here now the output is connected to this base resistance and the output is connected to this base resistance that is 1 kilo ohm so i have connected this resistor and then it is connected to the transistor so if you will take this transistor and keep legs upward and flat surface towards your, si your side then uh, at left hand side there is a emitter in the center there is a base and in the end there is a collector so let's connect to the base of the transistor so resistor is connected to the base of the transistor here we have the collector and in the end we have the emitter now as you can see that emitter is grounded so i'm going to connect this emitter to the ground now at the collector we have this diode and the cathode of the diode is connected to the vcc so how you can identify the cathode is just looking at the silver strip and the anode of the diode is connected to the collector so i'm just placing uh, anode of the diode to the collector and another terminal will be just over here so this is going to be connected to the 9 volt battery this is the battery and uh, i'm going to connect a plus 5 volt over here at the cathode of the diode and the ground of the battery is going to be connected with the ground of this so that is how you need to connect the battery and finally uh, we want to connect the relay for relay these two supply pins is to be connected with the diode or we can say it will this for relay this two a and b or this two coils is going to be connected across the diode so just connect it to the across the diode just like this and then we are remain with this two terminal that is uh, this one is common and this red one is uh, normally open so you can connect this one terminal the common terminal to one of the terminal of our bulb and make sure that you connect it well and after connection we have to cover it with the tap also because it is a 230 volt and connect this normally open terminal to this another part of the relay and while you are doing this make sure that you have not plug your bulb be careful so now i am going to cover this two with the tape so that's it we have done with the interfacing and now let's start with the programming part so now let's start with the programming part and first of all in the programming we will define the variable for pir sensor as pir and it is connected to pin number four and similarly for bulb i'm going to use bulb variable and it is connected to pin number eight of the arduino now let's go to the void setup and in which we will define that whether our pin is input or output so pir is input to the arduino so i will write input and bulb is output so i will write pin mode bulb output and then we need to jump to the void loop here we will write our logic so first of all we need to read the status of pir sensor so i will write if digital read now we want to read the status of pir that is at pin number four and if it is equal to high then we will turn on the bulb so i will write digital write bulb comma high so it will turn on the bulb and we want this bulb to be turned on for 
let's say 5 seconds so i will provide the delay of 5000 milliseconds so it is a 5 second and else we want the bulb to be turn off to save the energy so i will write digital write bulb comma low so it will keep this bulb turn off and that's it we have done with the programming and let's first of all verify it and i will save this as pir click on save so next i am going to connect this usb to the laptop and then make sure that you have turn on the power supply for the bulb and parallelly let's upload this code to this board and let me just turn on the power supply and you can see that we have done uploading and let's check now if some movement is detected so the bulb will be turn on for the 5 second and again it is now turn off and it will remain turn off till the next moment is detected